Hi guys, I'm going to show you a little something about Google Draw. Um, I discovered this because I have a project that is coming up for my students that we do with the History of Floral Design. Um, they color realistic flowers and they put them in a container like so. Um, but with everything the way it is, I have some remote learner, learners that um, I was having trouble trying to figure out how I was going to get material to them. And that's when Google Draw came about and I'll show you how to use this. It's kind of like Bitmoji, but a little different. Um, so here you can see this is Google Draw. I am going to insert a vase and a few flowers and then show you how to assign this in Google Classroom. So the very first thing I wanna do is get a vase. So I'm gonna go search web and I am going to get a vase with a transparent background. Some of the vases are completely transparent. Others have kind of like this background like so. They look okay, but it, it's not the greatest effect. Um, I'm gonna go with this container right here. So I just click my image, I shrink it down. Now, for my original assignment for my kids, they have to do an arrangement from a time period. So they can pick, you know, an Ikebana, they can pick something from early American, uh, or modern arrangement, whatever it may be, but I'm just gonna do a simple flower arrangement to show you. So I have my transparent, my vase right here with the transparent background. And now I'm going to insert flowers, doing the same thing from the web. I'm gonna do flowers. So there's many different ones that you can choose from, all realistic looking. You have some that are kind of cartoonish. Um, I'm gonna take this ranunculus right here and I'm gonna insert it. I can size this down. I can put it to the back so that you can't see it like so. And I can continue on from there and insert more flowers. So again, searching from the web. I mean, if I wanted to do this flower again, which is perfectly fine, I could insert it again and then I could right click and I can rotate it and flip it horizontally so then I could have this flower facing a different way. And showing the kids how to do it a little differently. Um, so you can make a flower arrangement digitally with Google drawing and the kids that I have doing it right now seem to be having a lot of fun. Um, I was kind of like in the testing phase, so I had the kids share it with me, but an easy way for you to do it is through Google Classroom. And it's just like a normal assignment that you would go through, you would assign history of floral design. And then I would create my drawing, give them my instructions I would like them to do. Um, of course, make a copy for each student, and then I would assign it. Um, just like I would a regular assignment, <clears throat> excuse me, in Google Classroom. Um, I hope this was helpful. I really think it's fun, and the kids are really enjoying it. I know my online learners are going to really like it. Uh, another thing that I, I also really like is that I have some advanced students that we do certain containers, and I don't know if, if you see seen it on Facebook or not, but I did an arrangement that had a, um, a sugar skull. Okay, well I have online learners in my advanced class. Well, if they're gonna be in this Google Draw, they can actually find um, containers to match ours and I can give them the list of flowers that we used and they can make the arrangement digitally. Uh, there's another program that you could do it in. It's called Bloom Pro. It's a European company and uh, they do offer like a subscription to teachers, which is really nice. Um, but the only problem is, is you can't make an arrangement with a container. You can only make bouquets. So that's the only downfall to that program. But I really think there's a lot of potential if you want to do that. Um, it's called Bloom Pro. Uh, but you can do everything in Google Classroom here with this Google Drawing, and I really think it's going to be something awesome. Um, I look forward to hearing all of your feedback. Um, if I can help in any other way with Google Classroom or Google Draw or in Floral Design or with Digital Interactive Notebooks, send me an email. 
and I will try to help the best that I can. Uh, I hope everybody's having a great year. I know it's a rough one, uh, but we're going to make it. We're going to get through this. <laughs>